Revelation 12 7 through 9. And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So it turns out that if aliens ever show up here on Earth, little green men might be the least of our problems. A new study indicates that instead, they'll probably be more like super intelligent dinosaurs, as smart and as cunning as humans. As one scientist put it, we would be better off not meeting them. Sleep tight. The word dinosaur was not invented until 1800s. It could not be used by early translators of the Bible. For example, the King James Version translation was completed in 1611, over 200 years before the word dinosaur was created. In the Bible, God used dragon or behemoth or leviathan, but dinosaurs are mentioned a lot in the Bible, just not using that word. In 1822, Mary Ann Mantle became the first person to discover and correctly identify a strange bone as part of a large, unknown reptile. Her husband, Dr. Gideon Mantle, later named this creature an Iguanodon. From that time forward, these forgotten animals were given names chosen by the people who rediscovered them. Of course, the Bible, written between approximately 1450 BC and 95 A.D does not include any of these names. It's interesting to note that people around the world have similar stories about dragons. And the descriptions of dragons are similar in all cultures. And those descriptions basically match what we think dinosaurs look like. I believe the Bible does mention dinosaurs. Of course they are not called dinosaurs since that name is a modern invention. I believe the, dinosaurs were just another part of God's creation. When the Bible talks about dragons, it is talking about what we now call dinosaurs. Did dinosaurs really exist? Dinosaurs certainly did roam the earth in the ancient past. Fossils of dinosaurs have been found all over the world. And their bones are displayed in museums for all to see. Scientists have been able to reconstruct many of their skeletons so we know much about how they may have looked. Dinosaur-like creatures are mentioned in the Bible. The Bible uses ancient names like Behemoth and Danin. Behemoth means kingly, gigantic beasts. Danin is a term which includes dragon-like animals and the great sea creatures such as whales, giant squids, and marine reptiles like the plesiosaurs that may have become extinct. The Bible's best description of a dinosaur-like animal is recorded in Job chapter 40. Look at the behemoth, which I made along with you and which feeds on grass like an ox. What strength he has in his loins, what power in the muscles of his belly. His tail sways like a cedar. The sinews of his thighs are close-knit. His bones are tubes of bronze, his limbs like rods of iron. He ranks first among the works of God Job 40 15 to 19. The book of Job is very old, probably written around 2000 years before Jesus was born.